Hi there, this is Hans Forschner with Napkin Engineering Network. This video highlights the sound cartography feature in creating point line area objects for mapping purposes. The video is using Sound Plan version 8.2. The creation of these features required the cartography module. The cartography module provides advanced graphic features such as adding different output graphics for point, line, and area objects, as, a, as well as sources, environmental, and other receiver objects. In this video, I will show how to copy an object layout, such as an area, and create a, a project boundary layout, and then assign that to the project object types. How to assign the layout to an area, and how to define different color options for the new layout. So let's get started. So here we are in the uh, sound plan graphics and then here under parameters we can go to the object types in the project. When I open this up I uh, will go to the uh, general objects and I'll find here one of the layouts is area. So I'll use this and I will duplicate that and copy that layout. And I'll copy that and call the uh, basically new layout project boundary. Later on, this project boundary, I will uh, maybe uh, set it up with the turquoise uh, surface area. Uh, you can, uh, of course, add hatching. You can uh, use fill, fill colors. You can also, under the cartography, uh, parameters you can add additional patterns so if you want to have a dotted uh, area or if you want to have some sort of hatching uh, this is where you can set up the different options here in terms of the hatching or the line color and so on so at this point I'll just remove that this uh, project boundary is mm -hmm. basically just a uh, maybe dashed line uh, with a turquoise color uh, the width may be a 0.8 reference to a, uh, reference, a reference scale of 1 to 1000. So I'll click OK. So this is set up. Here we can already see the area that I want to declare as project area. So this is this area, this area, and this area over here. So let me save this. And now I go back to the geodatabase, open up the geodatabase. So here we have the three different areas. Uh, so we can go view, current object type. So here are the three different areas. I can open up the first area. And here we are defining that as project boundary. So the, the default was area. And now we are defining it as project boundary. And I'll do that for each of those areas. All right. And at this point, I just save the situation. So now these areas are not just areas, but then we also assign them to the object type project boundary. So with that, the program will know in the graphics that this, has, this area has a different layout for the graphic presentation. So this uh, layout definition can be also used for points can be used for areas and for lines as well as if you had like different receivers you could assign different layouts for different receivers or for different sources so it's up to you to decide how you want to present that in the graphics and then in the geodatabase we assign that to the different point line and areas so i go back to the example graphics and reload the uh, sheet with the topo map and the new project boundaries. So again, here we have the Turkish turquoise dash lines. We can change that. So if you like, don't like the turquoise, we again can change that to a red. Apply. So it's highlighting that. Maybe still not that obvious. Maybe a thicker line and maybe a different spacing between the lines, pattern size and eight, 
or 10 all right so here we have now thicker dotted lines you can of course also add hatching and color coding and so forth so this works again for point line and areas but it also works for specific objects in this case you uh, next example I'd like to do it for a building so I'd like to select one of these buildings and highlight that as a new construction and again we can go back to the object types in the project and I'll create a new building and uh, this new building could be a new construction building right here and this one uh, has a uh, uh, like a darker blue color solid color with a red line edge for the edges so we'll click OK we go back to the geo database we open that warehouse right here and assign that now to a new construction type all right click uh, on the check mark we save it in the geo database we go back to the graphics and now we reload up here we reload the map data the reload of the map data will update the new building layouts that are assigned and we should see now the building with a solid blue line a blue area plus a red line on the boundary of the building so again this works for any type of object types so again here on the map object types we have uh, the selection of generic objects environmental the different sources receivers and so forth so if you like to highlight specific receivers specific sources buildings specific lines points or areas here we can uh, change that in the uh, project object types in the project and then assign that again in the geo database save it and reload that in the graphics have a great day thank you